I'm back. back. What's up, everybody? It's been a little while, but we're back. Better than ever. With a brand new setup, new mic, new camera, which looks awesome, by the way. Damn, boy. Look at how sharp I am, boy. Damn. Today, I want to try something new, which is... You've already seen the title. We're going to be making music only using my voice. Now, you might be thinking, Flix, are you an idiot? Yes, but you also might be thinking, Flix, your voice isn't that great. Well, you're absolutely right. But we're gonna do it anyway. I mean, I can hold a tone, I can do a little beatboxing here and there, so it should go swimmingly. So let's just hop into Apple Studio and get into it. All right. As you can see, I've loaded up Apple Studio right here. The first thing I want to do is record a bunch of sounds of me singing, humming, whistling, beatboxing, whatever I can come up with. And then we can all arrange it into proper music later. But first, we need sounds. Alright, I want to start off making some drums. We've got a couple of recordings that could act as a snare or a kick or some uh, hi-hats, stuff like that. So let's start by editing a few of them to make them sound better and arrange them a bit. Five minutes later. So I selected a couple of sounds that I think sound pretty good. On its own they sound kind of meh, but if I add some effects they sound pretty decent. So first of all I have this kick without effects sounds like this but if I add some effects on top sounds pretty thick and I did the same for this sort of rim shot snare I recorded which sounds like this without effects and then with effects and lastly we have this hat which also sounds pretty good with a little bit of EQing on there to make it sound more metallic and together they also sound pretty good i just made a little beat with the sounds i have so far and they sound pretty good together but of course this still needs a lot of work so i'm gonna look into my sounds again and see if i can fill it up some more so i've worked a little more on the beat added a bunch of percussive sounds and now it sounds like this So I think it really needs some bass right now. So what I'm going to try is just humming one note and try to make some sort of bass sound out of it. Okay, I've recorded the sound. And let's try it one octave lower. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's add some effects. Right, that sounds really cool so far. The next thing I want to try is record some chords. Of course, using my voice again, because, hey, that's the only thing I'm allowed to do. So, let's try it. Mm -hmm. 
right, we have a pretty nice beat so far. It sounds actually better than I expected. So now let's work on the arrangement a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we have a basic structure in place, but I think it could use a lot more power. For example, with the chords, I want to try and add more harmonies to make it sound fuller, because if you listen to the beginning like this, it's a bit empty, so let's try and fill that up. thing I want to do is add some more effects of course I have to record all these sounds with my voice which is gonna sound <laughs> pretty bad probably but we're gonna try it anyway and we'll see if we can fix it up slightly with some mixing and stuff <sighs> Right, those effects actually sound way better than I expected, so that's good. But I'm kind of missing a bit of layering, which is kind of hard to do because I'm only using my voice. For example, in these chords, I would have layered a synth under it to make it sound fuller, but of course I can't do that. But I think I found something that could actually work. So, we've got this vocal right here. <sighs> And we're gonna try to do some form and shifting. Now, form and shifting basically changes the characteristics of the sound to make it sound more deep or sort of higher without actually changing the pitch. I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna try it with this plugin right here. It's called Little Alter Boy. So this is what it sounds like without. And now we're gonna dial up the formants to make it sound higher. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do some finishing touches off camera and you'll hear the finished product right after this. But before I finish this off, I'm gonna ask you that one annoying thing every YouTuber does in this video. Subscribe, subscribe right here, like the video. But for real, it actually helps me out a lot. So if you could subscribe, that would be great. You can always unsubscribe if you feel like it later. But yeah, enough rumbling. Here's the finished thing. Enjoy. Enjoy. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> 